development organization. Now Acorn's chief organizer, Bertha Lewis, joins us to address the allegations. And joining me here on the set is Drew Griffin, who has been leading this special investigation for CNN. And Bertha, let me start with you. My understanding is you take issue with some of the reporting by Drew and others on your organization. What's the issue? And, and feel free to address uh, your concerns directly to Drew. He's here. Well, my concern is that uh, despite us registering 1.3 million people, having 13,000 workers, actually turning in um, every single card that we collected, as well as uh, turning in folks that we might have uh, sus suspected of bad behavior, year after year, time after time, these allegations continue to be visited upon us, especially at a time uh, when it is a political season. And we just think that there's never been a, a time where it's been proven that we have ever committed uh, registration or a voter fraud. And I just think it's very peculiar that the Republicans are attacking us like this. Can, but, I, can I jump in just you know, for one second, uh, Ms. Lewis? Did you say that, that no one in Acorn has ever uh, been found to have committed registration fraud? No worker no, for I, Acorn? That's Acorn, the, the accusations are against my organization. Who Acorn. hires people to and, fill and people out voter registrations hire, and people who fill out voter registrations for Acorn, you admit, have been in trouble in the past for committing fraud, correct? We've actually turned those people in and helped to prosecute individuals that commit um, voter registration fraud. So there's never been any case, period, even the RNC's general counsel that says there's never been one single case where someone has voted fraudulently because of an organized voter registration effort. Okay, so just to be clear, we're talking about two different things now. Because uh, what we're reporting about is the voter registration drive conducted by ACORN. That's which right. has turned in uh, thousands and thousands of fraudulently filled out registration forms. We registered 1.3 million new voters and Do we you know had 13,000 workers. Are uh, let me fraud. just answer the question. Okay. It's less than 1% that you're talking about out of 1.3 million registrations. And you know that we're supposed to turn in each and every card. We flagged, we've tagged. Uh, suspicious cards and we also turn in any canvasser that we suspect of bad behavior. In Lake County, uh, Indiana, where I know you know I've been, uh, they said that they, they weren't flagged. The first 500 came in and they actually had to call back Acorn and say what's going on here. Uh, did you turn in any of the people who filled out uh, those uh, fraudulent registration forms? Have you turned Again. those people over? This is exactly what we do. Our quality control systems work. But who do we you work with the for? elected officials <laughs> and we say to them, listen, if you've picked up a card that we might have missed, here, we'll let you know who the canvasser is. We give them that information. Ms. Lewis, you seem like a, a very nice person, but I, I don't <laughs> think you really understand what's going on on the ground. In Lake oh, County, I understand in Lake exactly County what's Indiana, going on. I and understand. in Philadelphia, two Democratic strongholds, uh -huh. the Democratic election workers are telling me ACORN doesn't listen to them, they don't get any contact with ACORN, they're not flagging these things properly, and they are the people who are having trouble with ACORN. It's not us. We're reporting what these election officials, Democrats in this case, well, are reporting I, I about understand. ACORN. And you know what? Here's what I'm going to tell you. They're just not telling the truth. The so, governor, the Republican <laughs> governor in Florida, I'm, I'm talking about Mr. Democrats Chris just said, in Indiana no, and I'm going to talk about a Republican in Florida just said there's <laughs> no problem. No problem. In, in Texas, no problem. Now, in Indiana, if those officials feel as though they weren't getting enough attention from us, which is untrue, we'd be happy to sit down with them and give them every single person that ever worked for us there. That's what we do. We don't want people uh, to be fraudulently registering. Of course not. And it's never, ever been proven that we've done such a thing. I mean, when Alberto Gonzalez well, came Bertha, after us, he was uh, never Bertha, able to prove uh, it. Bertha, facts. let me jump in here. Uh, you feel like you had your say? I, I feel like we just want to get the facts out. And you know well, what? An allegation and a lie doesn't make it true. We've been doing this. 
We know how to do it, and we've got. Is there anything a else you voters. can do? Is there anything else you can do in terms of transparency, in terms of a greater openness, that would put some of these issues to rest? Can you get additional information to Drew? Can Here's you can you like can you do. open the books? Let, let me give a suggestion. Like All right. like can Drew? we work this out? Sure. Uh, listen, we want Drew or anyone. Drew, come. Sit down in our offices. Love let's it. get let's get the officials together. And Drew, also, I think we can agree. Local elected officials, they need to be made to actually follow up. They need to be made to actually pay attention. And we want to work with them. We invite Drew to come and we invite That's that's the only person you need to invite. That's the okay, only person Drew. you need to that's in, great. In, invite is is Drew. So We'd be happy we can make that happen so, here. Tony, that's right. I'm gonna I'm we're going to do this, okay? But I'm going to tell right. you, Tony, the big problem the election officials tell me is they pay, they pay to, to register people, and it creates fraud. I just want to show our viewers. Listen, I went to Gary, Indiana. Uh, the Gary, Indiana uh, person for ACORN never called me back. Then I went to Milwaukee, Wisconsin, because I was told, the, in fact, the state director for Indiana works out of ACORN. Uh, her name is Miss Castor. Miss Castor said she'd call me back in 20 minutes. Never call me back. Then I got a call from a guy in Miami who said he was the... A public uh, uh, relations director or media coordinator for uh, Acorn. He would be handling this. Uh, a couple days went by. He never called me back. Then he calls me back and sends me to an attorney in Boston. The attorney in Boston we interviewed and we talked about all these concerns that Miss Lewis is talking about. So this is it's very difficult. Uh, Miss Lewis, Ms. Make Lewis this wants work. to sit down Here with I us. Miss Lewis, uh, make Drew, this Drew, work. It's, it's a Drew, week and a half am, later, Miss Lewis. Drew, thanks. I'm the chief organizer. I'm the woman in charge. The buck stops here. You and I together. All okay? Right. Good. I'm Love the it. woman. I'm right here for you. Here I come. Love it. Okay. You all okay. right with that, Drew? I'm good. I'm Ms. Good. Lewis, you okay York? with that? I'm fine. He's on a plane, all right? All right. Total transparency, books wide open. That's right. All right. Thank you both. That was Thank fun. you.